it's Faye. It's another late night video. 12.30. Okay. <laughs> you guys saw the video where I was trying the Peace Out Pores strip overnight. And now I'm gonna try another Peace Out product. As you guys can tell, the lovely Karen has joined us today with her children. The one closer to her is the obedient one. Her name is Sally. Now we have a Chrysinthia over here. Chrysinthia. <laughs> Cause she's a crybaby and a rebel. She's currently grounded. I'm gonna be trying to piece out acne and dark spots patches. By the way, I just got out of the shower. Ignore the nappiness. My hair literally looks like this when it's air drying. So this is the combo set. You have a 10 of the acne healing dots and a 6 of the dissolving microneedling dots. The 10 healing dots are hydrocolloid polymer technology acne dots that use salicylic acid to penetrate pores and clear up acne causing bacteria. The one step dark spot dots use microneedling technology infused with niacinamide, licorice extract, and tranexamic acid. It is used to visibly lighten and brighten dark spots. It says here that you use it overnight and you wake up to good skin vibes. Obviously, if you want long, long, long-term effects, then you should be using these patches like every night or maybe every other night, but more than once. It's also my first time using this, so we shall see. I did really like the pore strip product, if you guys saw my video. I am still convinced that to this day, it's been two weeks, my pores are still minimized. They're not being wild Linda's no more. I used to have a big hyperpin... Pigmentation? Pigmentation here, but then I got rid of it through laser. So I don't have any obvious dark spots to play around with. I know. Maybe we'll try it on our stash area. I break out a lot on top of my lip and then they leave scars and darkness. So maybe we'll use it there. Oh my god. I need to get a model. You see, my issue with Karen is that she thinks she's the sh I'm alright if you want to make this your home, but don't be so obvious. Can you be a little bit low-key and humble? Oh my god. Dude, are you ready? <laughs> Disclaimer, if you have a really like sensitive stomach and you tend to gag and if you're really disgusted with like microscope sets, then like I highly recommend, I really recommend you to you click out now. Out. Warning trigger. Oh my god. So for today's course, we have blistered tomatoes. Mm, mm, mm. This looks like it needs to get checked. Oh my god. Like, I think you need to go to the doctors. Oh my god, Karen. Oh, look, I'm scabbing down here. Okay, now for Sally. Ew, Sally. Oh my god, do you see that dry, dead skin? Isn't that crazy? How Almado can just pick that shit up? Like, man. Like, it actually looks sad. Oh, hello, hello. I told you she was a crybaby. You're looking like a nimble. That's been through tragic events. Um, I know that times have been rough. You're grounded. Your phone is taken away. You can't make TikToks in this quarantine, but you just got to go. So now that we've seen that broken family, it is time to say goodbye. We gotta microscope these dark spots. Are you it? Well, hello. It looks red. It's both red and dark. They just look dark. You see them, right? Okay, let's go. Let's get this bread. These acne dots are very similar to a regular acne patch. It's a lot thicker and it's quite tinted. Not that that matters, but if we're comparing it to a normal pimple patch, you can find those normally clear. Not that matters. No one's gonna see it. We ain't got no man's coming over anyway. This is so flattering. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, and thank you so much to Peace Out for sending me all these new products to try. No, I'm not sponsored and no, they're not paying me. Sally, your time's up. There we go. I'm actually really excited to see how the dark spots work. I do have high hopes. So it comes in a circle patch like this. It's quite stiff. There's a sticky, pricky side where the micro needles are. And once you have that all, secure that tightly onto your dark spot. The micro needles are so fine. Beautiful. Oh, you can't even tell. The pricks aren't too bad. <laughs> it does look a little wonky. <laughs> Okay, I'm just not gonna look at myself. I'm just tired. Okay, so now all we have to do is wait overnight. So I'm gonna go to bed and wake up in the morning and show you guys the results. Bye. Good morning. Ugh. Okay, I kind of slept in today. So it's like 11. Okay, so there's a lot for you guys to see because, um, sis, Karen decided to throw a fit. Okay, this is how it looks like. So this is the sticker. Wow. She was not happy in there. Ooh, look at that. Side views. Oh my god. Ew. Ew. Are you
Are you okay? Ew. I think I need to pop it. Did y'all see that? Oh. Ew. She's so raw. Oh my god. Yeah, she needs a good popping. Interesting. Okay, we're not gonna touch it right now. I feel like if I put another patch on all day, I might do the trick. Here is the other patch. <laughs> Sally is okay. Um, it looks and feels a lot more deflated. It's not poking as much. It's not standing so tall anymore, although we need to pop it, bruh. Okay, what about this one? the center of that pimple there she goes remember when she was a volcano last night Ugh, definitely erupted i guess one thing i'm noticing is how flat this one looks as well compared to yesterday okay that was a fail not that i'm noticing anything much it still looks pretty red and dark to me let's look at the micro needles i am actually more interested to see if the micro needles are still there. This is a side view and as you guys can tell, all the micro needles dissolved. For the most part, they all melted. Do I feel like it kind of disappeared or faded? Not really, you can still clearly see it. As for my pimples, although this one did look very erupted, I feel like this will heal a lot quicker because it's smaller. This one as well, there's no eruption to it, it's just a bud. I'll continue to use the patches just to keep it contained. Karen needs to be popped. Poppin', snappin'. You can clearly see the budding itself without me even having to be like so close to Okay, what are my overall thoughts? Feel like if you actually have dark spots on your face and hyperpigmentation, using this in routine may help fade the dark spots a bit, but I'm not fully convinced because dark spots are so hard to get rid of. Even my dark spots on my cheeks took me years and it's all about being consistent with your skincare products and using targeted ingredients that will fade your dark spots. You know traditionally you can microneedle your acne scars to help rid them and help lighten them up. So I do see the idea behind the microneedle patches but in comparison it's definitely not as effective. The longer you use it, the better the results. So I can't really be the one to say if this is good or not. I don't dislike it nor do I not have faith in it. So I, it is a product that I don't mind trying to use. It is a little bit pricey and you only have a couple dots. So I don't know how long it lasts until I see results. As far as the acne patches, they are very similar to just using regular acne patches at night to really trap and give that moist environment for your zit or pimple to kind of come out and come through. However, I do feel like these acne patches are more luxurious for your pimples. They do have a lot more ingredients that may be more hyperactive for your pimple versus just a plain pimple patch. Most pimple patches may contain a few ingredients, but it's just a highlight of hydrocarbon patches. So I do like that P-Sal involves many ingredients that are very good for your pimple within the patch. So not only are you giving it that trapped environment for it to come through, you're actually feeding it with good ingredients so that process may be quicker. Do I recommend this? I feel like many pimple patches are able to do the same thing. I feel like I would recommend this to those who are skincare junkies and want that extra boost. But if you're on a budget, I do recommend just normal acne patches. As far as the dark spots though, I feel like this is a sticker on the market that no one has really done. So maybe the more you use it gradually, you'll see improvements. Anyway, it was really fun documenting this zit. So I'm excited to hear your feedback or just how grossed out you are because same says. If you want me to try out some of their other products like Peace Out Dullness, Peace Out Puffy Eyes, Peace Out Wrinkles. I actually really want to try the wrinkle one. I want to try it on my smile lines because I've always had insecurities about my smile lines because I have such big cheekbones. I just have such big smile lines. So like this video if you want me to try it for you guys and see if there's any drastic changes like it claims. Yeah, that is it for this video. I obviously have to go um, clean up and get ready. Make sure to subscribe if you want more skincare videos and until next time i'm sending so much love bye bye bye